How do we calculate the primitive root of a given number? So let me consider a number 7, which happens to be a prime number. First we find the numbers which are relatively prime to 7. Now since 7 is a prime number, I find that all the numbers which are less than 7 are relatively prime to 7. So what do we mean by relatively prime? I consider any number, say 4 and 7, consider the G, take the GCD, it should be 1. Right? So GCD of a given number with 7 is 1. So then we say that that number is relatively prime to 7. So now we need to find among these numbers which are relatively prime to 7, which is a primitive root of 7. So what do we do to find the primitive root of 7? We raise the given number a to power 1 to 6 in mod 7. So what is a? a can be a number which is either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So a is a number which is relatively prime to 7. I raise it to power 1 to 6 because all these numbers are relatively prime to 7. And that should generate all the numbers which are relatively prime to 7 then such a number a is known as a primitive root of 7. So let's take an example. So let me take 1. Let me take 1. So I have a power 1, a power 2, a power 3, 4, 5 and 6. So I will write a table so that it becomes easier. Now what are the numbers? The number a can either be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So all these numbers are relatively prime to 7. So what do I do? I take a power 1, a power 2, a power 3 and so on. All of them in mod 7. So that's important. So you calculate the powers in mod 7. So here 1 power 1 in mod 7 is 1. 1 power 2 is also 1, 3 is 1, 4 is 1, 1 power 5 is 1, 1 power 6 in mod 7 is 1. So here I get only 1. So therefore 1 is not a primitive root of 7. So now let's take 2. Right. So what is 2 power 1? So I find that 2 power 1 is 2 in mod 7, 2 power 2 is 4 in mod 7, 2 power 3, how do I find 2 power 3 which is 8, 8 in mod 7 take the remainder which is 1, 2 power 4, so to find 2 power 4, 2 power 4 is obtained by multiplying 2 with 2 power 3. Right? So 2 power 4 is nothing but 2 into 2 power 3. So it is 2 into 1. 1 is nothing but 2 power 3 in mod 7. So it is 2 into 1 in mod 7, which is 2 again. So I find that the number repeats. So therefore 2 power 5 would be 2 squared, which is 4. Right? So it's going to be 2 into 2 power 4, which is 2 into 2, which is 4. And it repeats. So I find that 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 1. So 2 power 4 is 1 into 2, which is 2. 2 power 5 is 2 into 2, which is 4. 2 power 6 is 4 into 2, which is 8. 8 in mod 7 is 1 again. Right? So this again does not eat all the numbers which are relatively prime to 7. So therefore 2 is not a primitive root of 7. So 1 is not a primitive root, 2 is not a primitive root. root. What about 3? So I have 3 power 1 is nothing but 3 in mod 7. 
3 power 2 is 9 which is nothing but 2 in mod 7 right so 9 in mod 7 is 2 3 power 3 is nothing but 2 into 3 which is 6 in mod 7 3 power 4 so you multiply 6 with 3 so it is 18 18 in mod 7 is 4 3 power 5 is 4 into 3 which is 12 12 in mod 7 is 5 so 12 minus 7 is 5 so 3 power 6 is nothing but 5 into 3 is 15 15 minus 14 is 1 so it is 1 in mod 7 so what are the numbers? The numbers are 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1. So what do we observe? We observe that it generates all the numbers which are relatively prime to 7. So I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 3 is a primitive root of 7. So now the next one is 4. Four power one in mod seven is four. Next four square is sixteen in mod seven. Sixteen is sixteen minus fourteen is again two in mod seven. Four power three is two into four. Two into four is eight, which is one in mod seven. So we have to observe that if we get 1, then the cycle repeats. So here I get 4, 2, 1 and if I get 1, the next power which is 4 power 4 is nothing but 1 into 4 which gives me 4. And the numbers repeat. So I would get 4, 2, 1 again. So 4 power 5. So I get 4 power 1 is 4, 4 power 2 is 2, 4 power 3 is 1. 4 power 4 is 1 into 4 which is 4, 4 power 5 is 4 into 4 which gives me 2 again here and 1. So I find that the cycle repeats if you have a 1. So even here we observe that I get a 1 here. So therefore the cycle repeats. So again 4 is not a primitive root of 7. So next let's check out for 5. So I have 5 power 1 is nothing but 5 in mod 7. 5 square is 25. So 25 minus 21, we get 4 in mod 7. 5 cube is 4 into 5. 4 into 5 is 20. So we get 6. So 20 minus 14 is 6. 5 power 4 is 6 into 5 is 30. 30 minus 28 is 2. 5 power 5 is 2 into 5 is 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. And 5 power 6 is 3 into 5 which is 15. 15 minus 14 is 1. So we get 5, 4, 6, 2, 3 and 1. So again we get all the numbers which are relatively prime to 7 which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 5 is definitely a primitive root of 7. So now let's talk about the number 6. So 6 power 1 is 6 in mod 7. 6 square is 36 minus 35 which is a multiple of 7 where we get 1. Right? So when I get 1, I find that it repeats. So I get 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1. So definitely 6 is not a primitive root of 7. So 3 and 5 are primitive roots of 7. So given a number, first I find all the numbers which are relatively prime to the given number. I raise a number to the power and then I find whether it generates all the numbers which are relatively prime to the given number. Right? If it generates all the numbers then we conclude that 
that number is a primitive root. So here we find that 3 and 5 generates all the numbers which are relatively prime to 7. So therefore 3 and 5 are primitive roots of 7.